Eldritch Dickey, The Lord's Prayer Eldritch Dickey was born on Christmas Eve in Houston, Texas. Tennessee State University won an intense recruiting battle for the highly decorated 6'2", 190-pound quarterback who was known for his unbelievable athleticism and throwing accuracy. He had the rare ability to throw with equal precision left or right-handed. Coaches and teammates have said he could throw 60-plus yards with either arm. Fans and media deemed him as the best HBCU thrower to come along since Joe Tarzan Kendall of Kentucky State in the 1930s. When he decided to attend Tennessee State University, he was nicknamed the Lord's Prayer by head coach John Merritt because he was the answer to the program's prayers. His career at TSU spanned from 1964 to 1967, where Dickey was a three-time HBCU All-American pick by the Pittsburgh Courier and amassed an amazing 6,523 passing yards with 67 touchdowns while setting many black college football records. The 1966 squad, which sent 22 players on to professional football, also featured future NFL great Claude Humphrey. The group recorded TSU's first undefeated, untied, and their first national black college football championship. With Dickey at the helm, they averaged 41 points per game, including an astonishing 83-0 homecoming win over Kentucky State. In a year where the United States was dealing with civil rights issues, the Raiders made history on January 30, 1968, when they selected quarterback Eldridge Dickey with the 25th overall selection in the AFL-NFL draft, making him the first black quarterback to be taken in the first round of any draft. The Raiders were deep at the QB position and were unaware they had selected a player that only wanted to play quarterback. Joe Gilliam, senior former coach at TSU during Dickey's time, recalled, If Dickey couldn't play quarterback, he didn't want to play at all. Dickey truly believed that after his high selection, he was going to be the first African-American quarterback to play and maybe start in the NFL on a regular basis. He was instead moved permanently to wide receiver. Many say Dickey didn't get a fair opportunity to be a professional quarterback and never overcame his broken heart from switching positions. As the Raiders became perennial contenders and won Super Bowl XI, Dickey was out of the NFL at age 25 without ever throwing a pass in a regular season game. He later counseled others as a minister and passed away on May 22, 2000 at the age of 54 after suffering a stroke. He was honored in 2005 as the quarterback of the all-time HBCU football team. Anyone who had a chance to see Eldridge Dickey, the Lord's Prayer, say it was a highlight every time he touched the ball. He was a player that could do things never seen before. Eldridge Dickey has been inducted into the Tennessee State University Hall of Fame. Eldridge Dickey, the Lord's Prayer. Class of 2012, Black College Football Hall of Fame.